This is a soldier's best and worst case scenario. It's called the Bounding Mine or a Bouncing Betty. Okay, the Germans in World War II created this mine called the S Mine 35. And when you stepped on it, the mine jumped up in the air and detonated, thus the Bouncing Betty. The cutaway is really cool. You step on the plunger, the plunger initiates a spring, then you initiate the detonator, mine shoots up in the air and hits everyone around you, but there's something good about this. You see, with all that going on in that landmine, there's a lot more metallic material and a lot more demolition. That's really bad for the soldier, but really good for the combat engineer who needs to use your minesweeper to detect that metallic material. Now, these landmines are still around today. They're not as popular, though, because like I had mentioned before, they are really easy to detect. Thus, you wouldn't want to employ them. 